National Scientists in New Zealand have raised the alert level for one of the world's most aggressive volcanoes for the first time in history. Topor lies beneath the country's largest lake, but experts say the alert is merely precautionary. For residents and tourists alike, Topor is one of the most spectacular sites in New Zealand. But beneath the surface, scientists are keeping a closer eye on one of the world's most active caldera supervolcanoes. Its latest eruption in 242 AD was the largest on Earth in the past 5,000 years. Volcanoes aren't a bus or a train. They don't, they don't follow a timetable. Minor unrest in Taupo has seen an increase in ongoing activity. Around 740 earthquakes since January and 20 to 30 millimetres of ground deformation or uplift since May. Steve Schultz is a volcano and data specialist at GNS Science. He belongs to the organisation's volcano monitoring group, which voted to raise the alert level from zero to one for the first time ever. Realistically, it's the first time it's happened that any volcano in New Zealand that people don't generally consider as being a volcano. But it doesn't necessarily mean they're expecting an eruption. It's certainly not overdue, and, and you know, unless we see substantially more unrest than we're seeing now, the, the chances of it doing anything in the next few years are pretty, pretty slim. Most of the time the eruptions are relatively small, and they don't happen all that often, every few hundred to thousand years. Professor of Volcanology Colin Wilson has been studying Topor for four decades. He agrees even if Topor wanted to erupt, it would give plenty of notice. So there's the element of slight uncertainty about the size of the next eruption, which is what fuels a lot of the, the panic, if you like. It's hard to imagine something so aggressive lies beneath this tranquil surface. Talpo produces viscous rhyolite magma and though causes less frequent eruptions, is significantly more violent. It's very rich in silica, which means it's very sticky, contains quite a bit of gas and so tends to erupt very explosively rather than producing nice runny lavas like Etna or Hawaii. Where the magmatic activity is not likely to follow the pattern of a sudden eruption like White Island. And so they are almost in a permanent state of alert level one or two. GNS Science says it's simply hoping to advise and raise awareness. If people pick up rumours, people are going to get really worried. And, and if you can knock that on the head with good solid information before that happens, then that benefits everyone. Yes, but you also hear of volcanoes that um, weren't supposed to blow and, and, and did and um, caught a lot of people by surprise. When it first immediately happened, I was definitely a bit like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? All the kind of stuff, are we going to get evacuated? But I think unless there's a more serious um, alert, then nah, I'm not too worried about it. Topor could remain at alert level one for months or years. It could also move back down to zero. But any chance of it progressing to level two? To get a really big one, we're probably going to need tens of years of unrest here. And we're five months into something. And to be honest, since we raised the alert level, the number of earthquakes have done this. <laughs> In Topor, Jessica Maggio, Sky News.